One of the benefits of Google Docs is that you can do a lot without having to actually leave your doc. There's a lot of different types of pop-up windows, such as the Explore, where you can search the web, return back results, bring them in as footnotes, there's images, there's also searching your drive, and opening up these various panels in order to interact with content. The design of Google Docs allows you to search and insert content directly within the document without having to actually leave the file. And you can do that from several different menus. Selecting Explore will pop up the Explore option. And from here, you can search for different content within the Explore for a particular keyword. It's going to return back the results for the web. So these are different results that are coming up for the web. There's also images. And there's also searching within the drive. So if I do have any files that have this particular text content, that's going to be returned back. So in order to insert the content, go into the doc. And if I did want to insert this particular item, I can cite as a footnote by clicking the cite as a footnote button here in the right hand side within the web options. And that will add it in as a footnote. And there's the search results being footnoted directly within the document. So if I was to mention my name, and that's going to be the search results that are going to be coming up as that. There's also an option here where you can have different type of citation formats. So typical would be MLA, you can have APA or Chicago for those results. If you click this, it's going to open up within a new page. So it's going to open up with a new browser page. So this is a quick way that you can add in different types of content. So for images, these are going to be web images. So you can also add in the images using the insert images. And wherever your cursor currently is within the doc, it's going to insert that image. This image is, it'll give you information about where the image is located. So this one apparently is sitting on the commons wikimedia.org. You can also copy the link, you can edit the link, and you can remove the link to the file. And then once you have the image in the document, then you can resize it and you can make adjustments to it as it would any other image that you have within the document. So clicking on it is always going to open up this pop-up window that's going to give more information about the document. Also, when you do insert the image, you can insert it within inline, which is the default, the wrap text, the break text. So if you do the wrap text, it's going to wrap the text around the image. So it's going to place it more within the text of the image. So that's a more of a better example there where we've got the image. There's also the break text. So that will break the text. There's also the inline. So that will place it within inline. And that means that it's using the line height in order to add it. You can add it behind the text and you can also add it in front of the text. So you can allow it to be linked so it moves with the text. It can be a fixed position on the page. And there's also position options that you can open up. That's going to open up the image options on the right hand side. And there's more options for uh, updating images, which we'll look at more detail in the upcoming lessons. There's also within the drive. So if you have documents in your drive that you want it to bring in, you can select those as well. Let's go ahead and we're going to close the explore option. We're going to remove out the image that we just brought in and we'll make a selection, move our cursor again over some text. So under the tools tab, there's also the explore and there's the shortcut for the explore. So this is going to open up that same menu that we just saw. So these are the different search and there's also different topics that we can add in here. So we already checked this one and that's the explore. Uh, there's also uh, citations. So this will give you an option to add citations. So we can select the citation type and then add the citation source. So source can be a book and it can also be a website. So this would be expecting the URL that we're citing the source. Here you can select the different types of documents to insert. So we can insert uh, doing an insert of an image where we can search the web. You can also upload from computer, drive, photos, by URL or from the camera. So if you do the search the web, that's going to open up the search. And it's not going to be able to find all the images. So there's the JavaScript image again. So we can bring that in and select it, do an insert of it. 
and it's going to be returning back that same image that we just inserted earlier and then the same options for the inserting and if you do have content within other google within the other google suite of products you can select under the show side panel and this is going to give you a quick menu where you can go to your calendar you can go to keep tasks contacts and maps this allows you to open up these side menus where you can interact with the various content within your google suite so also to open up the explorer you can just do the shortcut as well or go under the tools or in the top in the bottom right hand side